I'm gonna give you guys a trick real quick. Okay, look at this. Look at this. If I'm standing here and I can't hit the enemy, it's a straight eight. It's a straight shot, right? But if I move to the right, I now have a different line of sight on the enemy, and I can shoot him in the side. There's a chance he'll sidestep. But then what do you do? You go over a little bit more and you get a better angle on them, right? Welcome back to another Warzone Duos breakdown. And today's gameplay is simple. Play as a team or get creamed. LMGs in the ghoulie every fucking time. I don't want to die to you. I'm sorry, brother. No shots, but you look like you look like you didn't need to be died to. Ladies and gentlemen, moving on. We're we're spectating duos today. First, we have Squatchy and uh, K9 Arlo sitting here with Bunker Key. We're making a lot of attention. We're pissing off a helicopter by shooting at it when we probably should just mind our fucking business and get this bunker unlocked. Now, the problem with what we just did is the fact that they could literally block us from getting out, forcing us to take the tunnel and get the fuck out of here. Which isn't a bad idea. Um, since the gas is coming in relatively fast. Dude, this, this match moved quickly. We're taking way too long to loot, bro. We gotta get faster. Look, I want everyone right now to practice looting fast. Looting essentially is like movement. You just gotta, you gotta get tempo. There's no reason. Hey, it wasn't that bad. A lot of you guys are like, Savage, that look good. It wasn't that bad, dude. But again, this game's been out for a long time. Like this whole, like, no. If you've ever seen me loot, loot like that. Loot fast, loot efficiently. Get in and get out. We got shit to do. Do not fuck your tempo up grabbing loot. Also, don't fuck it up doing this stupid shit too. Oh, he's marking on the map. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's probably a better idea if it'll allow you. They're doing, nope, they're locked. All right, you might want to get the, oh, it's not locked, <laughs> I lied. Where'd we go? Where are we? Where are we? Oh, shit, yeah. R-I fucking P. Oh, well, you have a stun. I'd probably throw that stun. Or you can do whatever you want. Big brain plays. It's not really... It's not really big brain plays. It's honestly a simple fucking play, but... Use your brain, man. If you have a... Dude, if you're being gatekept with a team above you, your only option's out. You just gotta try your best to fight it. We had a stun. That was a doable situation. They might have downed one of us, but the chance of both of us? Eh, maybe not. We still might have died, but it's still a better option to play like that. Man, that's unfortunate, dude. But here we are rocking the Blix and the NZ. Surprise, surprise. The meta is so diverse. It's almost overwhelming. The amount of weapons we get to choose from. I heard footsteps, but I didn't. Oh, we got to buy our teammate back right now. Um, I know we want loot. I know we want a lot of cool shit and prizes and, and awesome stuff, but we got enough plates. We got ammo, we got snapshot, we got a Simtex, we're ready to go. And we also got $8,100, so let's get the fuck out of here. Um, I'd go to this, uh, uh, hey. Hey, what, what? Bro, it's, 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 right, it's right next to you. Brother, Sas. Okay, honestly, dude, Sasquatch is stopping and mark those. K9 Arlo just needs to tell him, bro, no, go here. And if he doesn't listen, just ping it. Just spam it until your teammate gets pissed off and rage quits. Just spam that shit. There's no reason for him to walk all the way over there. Oh, never mind. We're walking back. So this buy right here is relatively safe. There's gonna there's gonna be people fields for sure, but it's your best option to go. A hundred percent. He died regardless, but it's your best option to go. A lot of people are like, I don't want to go to this one because it's got balloon and people are there, man. But you got to remember, people are here too. 
and you got a bigger distance to clear. The odds of getting killed going this way versus this are a lot higher. Same thing with this one. This one especially, you got to get the high ground. You got to go to the balloon. There's probably a team on that one too. Go to the closer by always. There's no reason for that shit. But here we are moving on. Spectating Jameston. Burn chill. Sick. Now this is the guy he died to. And he doesn't look like he's all there either. We're slowly walking in the open again. Vulnerable fields is a fun place to fight because there's a lot of people here. So aggressive players love fields to kill bitches like this. But at least he went to the close by. We're also doing a recon strat real quick. We are dead. Now, the fact that we went back to the recon was a little wild um, because your teammate had to go grab his weapon. So the odds of you completing that recon before the zone closes in is possible, but I still wouldn't have done it because again, fields, a lot of uh, a lot of people coming in, not to mention, it's just gonna give you one circle and not that much money. All right, so there's a lot of shit happening. I'm trying to get my brain right. When you're fields, guys, you gotta play aggressive. Like him. Slow opening the doors. Working the look at the cover and concealment. He's just hugging the rocks. He's playing the trees. He's not running out in the open at all, is he? Mark the destination. Now remember, our dude just got killed from an angle over here. We know the end. Yep, good good ping by Jameson. And they're in a fight right now. So since they're in a fight, let's go and push this balloon. Get the fuck out of here. You don't need anything from the buy that important. Don't hide. Go to the balloon. It's your only survival. That's it. The longer we take to get to the balloon, the more opportunity the enemy's gonna have to fuck us in the face. All right, they're ballooning out too. Cool. Don't shoot them. Let them go. Let them. Nope. 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 Let them just be peaceful. Oh, guy in front of us by the fence. Ooh. Oh, the aim. What? Fuck out of here. No. No, you did not just outshoot him. No, you did not. No, I saw that. No, you did not. Mm -mm. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Nope. Bro, what? What? All right, we're in a close range situation with a. This is a. This is not a. Before I say anything, is that a good bar build? Have they like? Have they changed it? Is this the new meta? Seeing a bar without a uh, stock threw me off big time, bro. What the fuck is this? Is this a thing? I don't use the bar, so let me know. That. By the way, YouTube we're streaming live on Twitch right now. We're we're doing we're doing a subathon, hence the timer. For all you guys that out there curious. Team shot him as well. It's true. That's true. I didn't think about that. Actually, yes. This is a build. For what? I want to see this bitch shoot long range. I want to see. I want to see this thing beam and cream long range. I need to see it now. No stock. I find it hard to believe. If it is a build, Ravensoft stupid. Yeah, the bar normally doesn't have recoil for sure, but like with no stock on it, dude, that should increase the recoil drastically drastically but who knows man let's let's spectate and see maybe i'll learn something today i find it odd that planes respawn and helicopters don't i'm just gonna throw that out there i find it really odd Not that I want helicopters to respawn, but I sure as fuck don't want planes respawning. Engaging shooter. Jameson's paying attention to the ridge to his right hand side. I mean the hill. We know there's an enemy in front of us buying for sure. Now, I don't know how much I trust this gun close range. 
We'll see. If you're fighting the Blixen. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Guy landing on top of us. Granted, the enemy didn't shoot back, so it's hard to tell when the enemies physically don't fucking shoot back. Now, your teammate needs to be pinging. If you're falling on your teammate, ping the enemy. All right, there you go. We got a little ping going out to the north. I find it hard to believe he's not on us, but I guess he's not. He was on us. Good, good fucking ping, Orange. He killed that shit. Yo, this build's actually low key fire. I want to see him shoot really long range, but I'm sold as far as the medium range gun. This thing's nasty. Damn. This thing's, this thing's nasty, bro. My dude was right. Yeah. I was about to troll the living shit out of him. I mean, common sense dictates no fucking stock on, a, on an assault rifle. It was probably going to bounce a lot. <laughs> nope. Not, not in Call of Duty, it doesn't. Go, bitch. I'll be honest. I never understand why people just walk. I know there's loot here and stuff, but fuck that loot. Take the balloon, dude. We don't even need the shit anyway. Take the balloon, homie. Because now we got to walk all this fucking distance for no damn reason at all. Never mind. They literally put these balloons in the game to help you guys move around. You better pick up a big game bounty. You better pick it up. You don't even have to hunt the big game. Just use it for intel. I'd highly recommend hunting the big game. It gives you a lot of fucking money. But even if you're uh, scared and terrified to play a first person shooter and shoot somebody, pick it up for intel. That way you can run from them. Who knows? Whatever you want to do, your heart's content. We've got a big game sitting at the top of peak. They're ballooning out as well. They're probably going to go to factory, I would fucking imagine. Yeah, shoot that. I want to see the recoil at this range. Shoot it long range. I want to see how this bitch bounces. Oh, he's looking. He's okay. I thought he was about to launch it. He's oh, he is. He is launching it. It's a good medium range gun. Are you really recommending people run away from your bounty? Savage, what happened to you? No, I'm not recommending, but I know damn well the tips and tricks that I give, people don't fucking listen because look at the shit we spectate. Not not talking about these guys, but players don't like fighting, dude. I literally push bounties. People will have a bounty on me, we'll push them, and they will run from us. It's the weirdest fucking thing, dude. I see it. They're clearly like, I'll give advice, go push the bounty. There it is. But what's gonna happen? 99% of people are just gonna sit there and run away or hide. All right, Orange is going up by himself. We need to we need to be there to help him out, and we're not. Problem is, we don't have a line of sight on him. I don't mind a teammate being back, putting you know suppression on the enemy, getting a good line of sight, but we don't really have that right here because the trees were in our way. We do now that we've sidestep, but teammates already and fucking yeah. dead. Oh, tap fire! This thing's kind of nasty. If you had that, if you had that precision, still <laughs> fucking weird. Fucking weird, but nah, we wanted to waste it on those guys at factory, man. Teammates bleeding out, dude. There's nothing we can do. Again, change angles too, bro. If you can't shoot them, instead of just shooting the bar over and over and over again, run to the right and get a different angle and shoot them in the fucking head. I'm going to give you guys a trick real quick, okay? Look at this. Look at this. If I'm standing here and I can't hit the enemy, it's a straight aim, it's a straight shot, right? But if I move to the right, I now have a different line of sight on the enemy and I can shoot him in the side. There's a chance he'll sidestep, but then what do you do? You go over a little bit more and you get a better angle on him, right? So. When you're playing this game, you gotta pretend like you're like you're playing pool, bro. Just 
he got the kill. I missed the whole fight because I was doing the demonstration. But guys, again, just sidestep, man. Just move around. What are you doing? Good afternoon, Dakota. <laughs> Woo! But he's rocking 11 kills. Your dude's on a heater right now. Uh, dear my subathon, I will not be posting anyone's KDs because, uh, well, I'm just not going to. Let's look up his, let's look up his stats right now. He's a decent player, for sure. I'm not trolling him at all. Just giving a little bit of tips for him whenever uh, he does shit like this. Jam Jamston Bur Burnchill. Found him. 1.25 KD player. I would have thought he's a little bit higher KD than that, to be honest, but I would have said a 1.5. But I can see that. Your dude's average KD lobbies is a 1.1. One, one. That's kind of what ours are. Um, his PR the last week is 12. He's one away from breaking, breaking his weekly PR. Five shots killed him. He hit five shots and it fucked that dude up. Damn. <laughs> I got you, Anx. So still developing. All right, right now, dude, we're playing, uh, we're playing this. Let's see what the circle goes to. It's probably going to favor one of these areas. If it favors over here, it's really going to be a balanced ending. We're going to have to rotate anyway. All right, actually, <laughs> it's going to be a rough rotation. A lot of hills, a lot of, a lot of ridges, a lot of cover, a lot of concealment. So this isn't a bad area to push. We just have to cross over here fast. Multiple loadouts dropping in, enemies dropping as well. We got to be aware of this area. To be honest, I would go over here and clear the buy station first. The last... Yeah, that one. The last thing you guys want to do, the last thing you guys want to do is push up to the to the loadout like they look like they were going to do and get clapped from the guys that are actually here. So you need to take care of this team ASAP. Remember, you got 12 seconds before this gas starts moving. You got to clean them up. Otherwise, you got to fight those enemies in the gas. You'll probably get third party by everyone that's hearing you shoot. I'm still here. That team at buy is going to be rough. They have a better position. Again, we have a long area to close right here. No cover, no concealment in this big ass gap. But if we cross right here, we do. We have ridges, we have rocks, we have little trees and dumpsters. We have a little bit more than this way. It's, it's not looking good for your boys. It's not looking good for them at all. They also have an option. They can just bail back and go factory, but that's a long rotation. Filthy Rich trying to fucking get the balls to run out there. Look at that wide ass open area. Not good at all. This is not looking too hot for your dudes. All right, he's going for the long rate rotation. It's a little late. We still going to get clapped a little bit, but we might be okay. We might be okay. But remember, because we we're getting shot at, our teammates were shooting back. People at factory, if they're paying attention, completely assuming they have eardrums, um, they could be looking this way as well. No challenge from factory yet. It's looking pretty clear. No one rotating out. Check the rooftop too. People like to play the rooftop till the end. Weird. Again, dude, you just got to play the game. If you guys pay attention to what people do, into what you do and as you're rotating you just imagine where would i be if i was factory duh right all right filthy rich goes down and your boy broke his pr of 13 kills let's go all right jameson jamston i believe in you dude i want you to win you're 500 in a dream your teammate your teammate's fucking chalking you right now he's coughing now people can hear you tell him to bleed out stop being a bitch fly off to our right side this is not what you want to do dude do not hide right there Third party, these motherfuckers, dude. Serpentine's a bitch. I like the fact we're closing the gap. We're low on plates, so the enemy will be plated up. The enemy bought back. There's a chance he just landed on his ship fast, but it could possibly be a different team. Nope, same guy. We will, we will rock you. 
I love this game, dude. Could you imagine right now you're in you're in a deep fucking fight, you hear enemies and you're trying to sound horn, you have this fucking thing banging out your goddamn mom? Holy yeah. shit. Alright. You better run! We gotta relocate again, dude. This is gonna be a hard fight for us. The people that are already here and secured these ridges are gonna have the advantage. We have a nice little ridge right here, but if the enemies push that, they've got a great gatekeep on us. Don't get too focused on loot, baby boy. There's another player around you. We need to start peeping out the west hand side because again, they're favored. We got to cross an opening. Oh, look at this. Oh, thank God he sprinted. Oh my God. I'm shocked. No one's holding us right now. I'm fucking shocked. Your boy is clueless. Respect hate and L fam. It's a 2v2v1 situation. There's definitely a team already at yellow building for sure. When clearing the edge of a circle in a, in a small zone, make sure you're clearing the edge. You're not just fucking bum rushing out there. When you get to the big rock like he did, instead of just bulldozing past it, peek that bitch. Be like, yo, is anybody there? Where's my next place of cover I'm gonna push to? Is anybody at that bitch? He didn't even look. He was just like, I'm gone. So now we have the entire match and all of our faith into La Mierda. And that went exactly how I thought it was gonna fucking go. There it is. There it is. And another nade just for fucks. Remember, they were shooting at an enemy down below. I'm guessing the enemy are rotated to yellow because that's what we're looking right now. He's got grass sticking out of his NZ. That is awkward, my guy. There's literally grass in your barrel, homie. Trophy system's a dead giveaway too. He's literally sitting right in the middle of the open. Now look, the enemies right now, the enemy needs to be... The enemy needs to be looking and peeking this building. It's a 2v1. You got to get a pick. You got to get a pick. If you're just hiding in a corner or hiding on the wall, you see his tracker footsteps. There you go. If you're just hiding in a building and ending like that, you're going to get fucking stacked. He didn't get stacked. He's lucky on that, but he still got waxed. Play the outside of the building. The enemies are coming to you. They have to come to you. So as they're coming to you, and if they're separated, try your best to pick one of them, and then maybe you can win a gunfight. There's no reason to sit in a corner and just pray to God your aim's better than theirs and rely on that and that alone and clearly it's probably not and get fucking waxed. Stop it. Stop it. 